<laughs> Welcome back to It's Too Late, everybody. I am your host, Alan Mosley. Joined, as always, by the number one producer in late night, it's Dave Willimowski. Dave! How are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, I, I, I had an extended vacation that we've been talking about for a while, so I finally went back to work after 24 days, and they, they stuck me with a 12-hour shift, so that was a nice welcome back. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm right back in the saddle, and I'm ready to rock, man. How are you doing? I think what I think is funny is, is that you 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 couldn't work for 24 days on your first day back. The first thing they do is bring into HR and they ask, so what's this part time job you've been doing every Wednesday? It's too late with Alan. So you could do that, but you couldn't come to work. Mm. It's, remote. it's fine. It's remote. Mm. All the way. In the I, other remember, room. I remember uh, before I opened my printing business where I had kind of learned just sort of the quick copy trade was I worked at a, a printing department of a office max. I was there for like nine months and literally left and opened my own business and put them out. It was kind of funny. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I remember towards the end of my tenure there, there was a day that I took off from work and what I was doing that day was I was actually meeting with my future business partner and a couple of reps from another printing company to talk shop. But I couldn't call out like I was scheduled that day and I couldn't call out and say, sorry, I can't come into work today. I'm meeting with your competitors like I couldn't yeah. I couldn't do that. And so I just told him I was sick. Like, I mean, you know, I just told him I was sick. Right. And I mean, I don't care. Like, I'm literally plotting their demise. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, a we met at a restaurant and a, another coworker of mine saw me there at this table of suits yeah. and told our manager, Hey, Alan wasn't at work today. He said he was sick, but I saw him at, you know, the, the restaurant or whatever it, with this table of suits. I don't know what was going on. What snitch. Yeah, I know. And so my manager at the time said, Oh, so you were too sick to come to work, but you weren't so sick to have some kind of, clandestine meeting you know down the street <laughs> and i said that is correct yeah i mean that was the end there there's really no more to the story is yeah well, what are they gonna say yeah uh -oh. yeah i mean the the i mean really the only detail i'm leaving out is is that the next thing was is that well are you gonna be at work tomorrow and i said <laughs> no sir i'm not <laughs> <laughs> did it happen that quick huh <laughs> yeah I mean, because the cat was out of the bag at that point. Like, I was, yeah. I just told him, I was like, yeah, I met with some rats from RJ Young. I'm just going to open my own. Yeah. Like, t like tomorrow. <laughs> like, I'm just going <laughs> to just leave it. Uh, I didn't open the next day, but I actually did open pretty soon after that. Um, I had so much, Dave, I had so much fun playing Ninja Turtles. That was, that was, I, that was a nice we, Folks at home, we were literally sitting here at like 17 seconds before the start of the stream debating, hey, we still have time. We can just switch it over to Turtles. We'll just finish the game. Yeah. Because we, we got we to gotta beat the game. I mean. That'd be know, like the monologue. Like, we come right back. Yeah. There's only like three levels left. What's that going to be like 15 minutes? You know? So. <laughs> but I actually, I know that you had a ton of fun playing Ninja Turtles as well, Dave. People could not see you on screen, but I can oh. see you in my monitor, and I actually took a screenshot of you playing the game. Go ahead and show everybody my screenshot oh. of you playing Turtles the other night. Uh-oh. There he is. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that, that was basically my face the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I was how afraid much, of what that was going to be. How much cocaine do you figure Michelangelo has to take to even get a mild buzz? <laughs> Both because A, he's a giant mutant turtle, and B, he's done a lot of cocaine. So yeah. his his tolerance is like, you know, <laughs> I, I'd say quite a bit. Speaking of that, our friend Jonathan C., who helps us out with social media on, on the various platforms, Jonathan's in the hospital right now, you guys. Oh. Because Jonathan got the Rona. Wow. I know. And he, so, because, and so leave it up to Jonathan. So Jonathan's having a medical emergency. What does he do? He texts me and, and with a picture of himself laying in the hospital with all the little gizmos on him saying, Hey, I got the Rona. And I'm, I'm looking at him in the gurney like, Oh, you're dying. Like yeah. some people get the Rona and they just move on. Jonathan dies. <laughs> and so I was like, dude, is it really, is it that bad? What's going on? 
And he goes, yeah, my, my heart rate and blood pressure is really high. And I go, did, did you, is it, is it the Roner? Did you tell him about the 17 lines of Coke you did before you drove over? <laughs> I did, oh, I never got an answer. He got, discharged. you know what? I bet the, I bet the doctor didn't get, get an answer either. Jonathan, I bet <laughs> no. you didn't tell him, did you? You got to fill out those forms <laughs> accurately, man. They're trying yeah, to you help be you. honest. Yeah. 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 We talked about that the other day with some people's drinking. Some people. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, there's there's yeah. people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, speaking of some people's drinking, Dave, did you do anything to celebrate Juneteenth? I, I don't, I don't, I don't observe a lot of holidays. So, and that one just, I didn't, I didn't know how to properly observe it. I, I'll tell you what I did. I left out some milk and cookies for Harriet Tubman before I went to bed. Is that what you're supposed to do? Well, I, th- I thought so, but the milk and cookies were still there, but my TV was missing. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Oh. All right. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, that, that joke was too racist, Dave. I will I, have you know, we won't have any more of that, sir, from yes, you. Please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> But it wasn't just Juneteenth, it was Father's Day as well. Did you do oh, yeah. anything for Father's Day? I, I I did a lot of work around the house, you know. I, I think I I think I set up a pool for the family. Because that's what that did. So so now HR is gonna have you back in tomorrow because not only had you been doing this other side gig when you were out sick, apparently been doing a lot of work around the house. Been well, setting up just, a pool. Roll yeah. it out and throw a hose in it. It's Built cool. a deck. <laughs> Met with some suits. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I hope they never find out who, what your real name is, Dave. Yeah. Oh. From PA. Um, <laughs> there's, there's a story that I thought about the other day, and I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this story for next week's monologue. And so what it has to do, it has to do with the restaurant Wendy's. Do you, do you like Wendy's? I do. Yeah. You do like Wendy's? Yeah, they're decent. Right down the street from where the studio is, they opened a new Wendy's. It's like it's like one block down from from one of the bigger intersections here in town. They opened a new Wendy's. And this is a Wendy's we're talking about here. Like this isn't, you know, like this isn't like a new like gourmet steakhouse or anything. This is Wendy's. Yeah. The Wendy's. Traffic has been jammed at this intersection for like three weeks now because there's cars sitting in the road waiting to turn into the drive through at the Wendy's. Do you guys not have any Wendy's in the No, we, we, but no, we already had a Wendy's. Oh, there's Wendy's everywhere. And our town already had a Wendy's as well. So but like, this we're is going to the Wendy's. No, but this is new the one. new Wendy's. Yeah. <laughs> and so every time I'm trying, I'm having to go around the back way to get home now because I have to avoid <laughs> the Wendy's. Every time I drive by there and I have to like slowly edge around traffic, I literally yell out my window. Is this what we're doing, guys? We're going to yeah. Wendy's. Like. Wait I don't even line. know anyone who goes to Wendy's except for apparently everyone on this side of town every single day, literally from the time they open to the time they close. <laughs> I went by there like you think like lunch hour and like maybe dinner, right? Maybe and maybe breakfast. Who knows? You know, whatever. I've oh. been by there at 10 a.m. I've been by there at one. I've been by there at three. I've been by there at eight at night. There's a line down the street. For Wendy's. That's a bit ridiculous. This is the type of shit that happens when you live in a town like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? You know what the really part, the part that actually breaks my heart though is, is that one block further down is Poncho's, and it's like, why would I go to Wendy's when I can go to Poncho's? You gotta get that four for four, don't they? Four for four. I mean, Frosties are pretty good, I guess. Yeah. They are. And the. The Baconator is pretty good too. Have you ever, you ever, and you can dip your fries in the Frosties. Get like the people salts. do that. Yeah. Mm. Um, their chili's not bad as well. You going to Wendy's now? 
Yeah. How about we? <laughs> how about we? No, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I got to give you the new signal, Dave. The. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's the. Uh, that means we're going around back. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, God, what happened? Like, what happened to this monologue? I don't know. It started off pretty good and then got really carried away. I, I do kind of... Yeah, we're talking way too much about people that are not our sponsors. I see people in chat saying, is Wendy's your new sponsor? Y'all going? Y'all still going to Wendy's? That's that's going to be the new y'all still doing that show. Y'all still going to Wendy's? All right. Um, Commercial break? Yeah, we should. What do you think? All right, guys. We're going to be back with the meme of the week in the viewer mail right after this commercial break. Go away. Go away. 